Hey guys, welcome to Professional WordPress Web Development Course. And in this video, we'll have an introduction to Elementor Page Builder and uh, to understand why do we need to use this plugin anyways in WordPress Web Development. So before that, we need to understand how many ways are there with which we can create WordPress websites. And if we classify broadly, we have three main different ways by which we can create WordPress websites. The first option is you just simply use a pre-made themes out there, which I think you already know by now that there are tons of themes out there and you can select some theme that you like the design and you install it and change images and text. That's it. However, if you are thinking of WordPress uh, development to make your professional skill then this might not help because clients know that you are using a theme and your work will not be respected also the demerit is you will have very less control on your theme styling options and colors and features so interact interactivity as well so you your work will not be much respected and also since you have less control on it whatever client asks you to do it on the side, you will be bound by a restriction of themes default settings. If only if theme is allowing you to do so, you'll be able to do some changes or else you'll be stuck. So what is the solution? Solution is you create your own theme by coding. By using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, you can create front end of a website just like you create a static website and then use PHP skills and WordPress functions and classes to create a WordPress theme of your own so that you can meet your client's requirement. But the demerit of this method, even if you have a 200% control on the, your theme because you have coded your theme, first challenge will be you will not, you will need to be a pro coder in the first place to do this. And second thing is, uh, it's extremely time consuming because every each and every component in your WordPress theme has to be built by you from scratch. So it's extremely time consuming. And third thing is your client might not have enough budget to uh, pay for your time that you are investing. And it, it becomes a costlier affair when he can get the things done and for much cheaper rates. And in this competition, if you charge overprice your client, then probably you will not be getting your project. So what to do? You need more control. You need uh, uh, cost efficient. And you should be able to deliver the projects fastly. In that case, there is where we come across this option called as using page builder like Elementor, where you can create each and every component of your site the way you want it to be. And these softwares comes with a pre-packed components ready to use. You only need to learn how to use and how and when to implement it wisely with your creativity. It is easy to learn. It is uh, easy to learn and faster to deliver the projects. And hence, it takes less time. You can price it competitively and it's cost efficient for your client as well. Now, let's dig deeper into Elementor Page Builder. Why there are, there are, of course, there are so many other page builders out there, but why did I select Elementor in the first place? So let's see. It has very strong community. If you, uh, since you are a software engineer, you must know that uh, uh, before we select any language like PHP or Python or JavaScript, or whatever it is for our project, we see how much big the community is. Because you know, once you start the project and in case you run into some troubles, you need some community to look into, look upon, and have someone to help you in that project if you get stuck. So in this case, Elementor uses a five plus million active users, active users, and the number is much higher than this. So you will never have to think about getting stuck in the projects because there is someone or other person who knows this plugin and very well more than you so that to help you out in your project and 
every trust me every theme that is being developed right now it, it is 2020 as of the date of recording and soon we are entering into 2021 so every theme that is being developed is 100 percent compatible with elementor and also there are hundreds of other add-ons and third-party softwares now being developed for elementor by third-party software engineers so as to extend its capacity to dynamic components and uh, further back-end functionalities as well. So it's a great news. And then Elementor skill is extremely important and it's extremely in-demand skill to learn and uh, you can easily find a full-time role in a web design agency or a software company where they are hiring web developers. And then also you can start your own freelancing projects. You can start taking freelancing projects for, by yourself if you feel confident and uh, uh, hand, in handling projects and clients simultaneously, you can start freelancing, taking freelance projects simultaneously and help business owners around you with the skill that you are going to learn in this course. So it's an extremely in-demand skill to learn, to get full-time roles and freelancing projects easily as more, uh, more and more business owners and clients want their projects to be built using this plugin. And also Elementor has topped the game of page builders. It has raised the bars. And uh, previously there used to be page builders, but their features were not up to the mark, so they were not respected amongst developer community. Uh, and developers used to hesitate to uh, recommend it to the client because it's a good starting point, but to uh, have the software for a sustainable amount of time and for scalability, when it comes to scalability, developers used to hesitate, but here Elementor has hundreds of unique features that no other page builders offer, and which we will see in very soon in our further courses, uh, course and chapters, so stay with me in that. We'll explore it soon. So what kind of websites can we build? Yes, this is of course the most important point that we need to know before we even start. You can create unlimited sales landing pages, any type of landing pages, opt-in pages for your ads and for your products. If you are a service sector or a product selling, a product-based business, if you have a product-based business, or if you are a service uh, business, still you can create a landing page. You, of course, you create landing page for everything and in anything, right? And you need to attach it to the ads that you uh, display in Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, right? In that case, you can create those landing pages with this plugin. You can create any kind of business website, companies, restaurants, service agencies. Y you can imagine any kind of business websites you can create easily. And then complex dynamic websites, with custom fields and custom post type. It's okay if you don't know what is custom fields and custom post type. We will explore that very shortly. And till then, you just need to understand that we can create complex dynamic websites as well. You, ha you might know that uh, Just Style or, uh, or some other listing and directory sites uh, that are popular, we can create those kind of sites as well quicker or uh, let's say, just style quicker, right? So those kind of list listing and directory websites also we can create using this uh, Elementor and some other uh, tool sets and parts kind of plugins are there. So you don't have to worry about that. We will explore everything very soon. And then finally, how can we forget e-commerce websites? You can create easily e-commerce websites, any kind of e-commerce websites for your for yourself, for your business, or for your customers, or your clients' business, right? We will see how to do all these things very soon in this course. And finally, many more, your imagination is your limit, right? Now, what what is the approach that we'll be following in this course so that you understand each and every topic within this Elementor and how to use it uh, professionally, which is more important, what we will do is we'll learn Elementor free version in the beginning, in the first section, and then we'll move on to the pro version and advanced features that the pro version has to offer. And then we'll see what are the use cases with practical examples in both the cases which we saw above. 
and then finally we'll be building five full fledged projects which will include e-commerce websites news portal and portfolio website business website sales landing page all these things we'll be building hands on in this course and finally we will have a brief advice on what to learn next once you are ma once you have mastered this skill what to do next what to learn next how to implement these skills to boost your income either from job or from freelancing we'll discuss that so enough of talking and it's time to start get our hands dirty and start acquiring a new skill set Hope you know why it is important to learn Elementor in WordPress web design and development. So let's get started with our further chapters. See you in the next chapter. Thank you.